Hey guys, it's Whitney with Wandering Whittles. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you along with me as I install this DIY plant shelf above our bed in our bedroom. Now, as you guys know, I have been actively redoing our bedroom. This is the before before of our bedroom before I painted it, painted the headboard and installed the wall sconces of the lights. Now, as you guys know, I love to hang plants. I love to put them on the walls. I love to hang them from the ceilings and hang them from shelves. So I'm really excited for this project today and to take you guys along for the ride. I do want to show you the before picture of before the shelves I put up. So again, like I said, I have painted the walls this beautiful white. I'll get into that in the bedroom makeover painted the headboard and I've also installed the wall sconces with the lights. Guys, it is so amazing what paint will do to a room. I mean, truly. So here I am sanding down a piece of white wood that I got from Lowe's. It is about 10 inches wide and 72 inches long. And I'm sanding it down because I plan on staining it. Now, I've got a little hiccup with the stain that you guys will see here in a bit, but I am sanding it like I should be with the sanding block. And then I'll be taking the towel that I'm kneeling on and wiping off some of that excess wood fiber that I have sanded off. Now that I'm done with the sanding process, I'm going to move on to the staining process. I picked up Minwax in Classic Oak, and it's a stain in polyurethane one-step stain. I also picked up these foam brushes that I'm going to apply the stain onto the wood with. Now, this is the first time that I've actually stained a piece of wood. I know, pretty sad, pretty sad. So I wasn't really sure how, what to expect and how it would look. But once I started applying the stain to this piece of white wood, I was very surprised at how orange it was showing up. Now it could be because of how white the wood is, or maybe I was doing it incorrectly, I don't know. But I continue applying it just to say that I did and properly stain it. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it. I ended up actually changing the way that I was applying it here in a little bit, you'll see that. So I thought I bought a classic oak, which I know I did, but as you can see, it's looking a little orange in some places. So I'm just gonna call it quits on trying to stain this piece of wood and we're just gonna go with how it is right now, which is natural. Now that I've moved on from the wood and the stain, I wanted to show you guys the brackets that I got from Amazon. I will link these down in the description below. All right, so here I am measuring just to make sure everything's going to work. I did measure before I got the piece of wood, but I just wanted to make sure that it's gonna fit over the bed the way that I want. Next, I'm gonna be finding the studs in my wall. Now, normally you would wanna use a stud finder. However, you can knock on the wall a little bit and listen for the change in sound. Luckily for me, there was a nail pop in our drywall that I was able to locate that indicated that there was a stud there and luckily it was right in the center of our headboard. So I was able to go ahead and put in a pilot hole and start drilling. Okay, so leveling I think is the most important aspect of hanging shelves and I'm gonna go with good on this. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, so now on to the next set of brackets and we are definitely in the studs, which is important. So my next task is to locate the other studs. Typically in homes, studs are 16 inches or 24 inches apart. So right now I'm actually measuring. I'm pretty sure at this point they're 16 inches apart and I am measuring and knocking and I'm locating the other studs and making a little mark so that I know where to hang the rest of my brackets. Now let me say this real quick. I know you guys are gonna say something. I could have just gone to 32, but notice I taped both of my yardsticks together and I didn't know my exact 32 right there. So don't hate me for that.
Okay, so I went ahead and put the shelf on the bracket just to make sure I liked where it was. And I like where it is, mainly because if I have any trailing plants, they can fall without hitting us. And if I want any height on my plants, I have a little bit of room here, here, and there. So I also wanted to make sure that the bracket and everything would hold the shelf. All right, guys, and just a little tip for you. This is how you know that you are still in drywall and not a stud. Notice how my drill pops, just pops right into the drywall. I also mismeasured here, so now I'm actually searching for the stud. Okay, so I got the second bracket up, and unfortunately, due to the studs, I'm going to have to, sorry for the shadow, hi. I'm gonna have to end up putting four brackets instead of three like I had originally wanted to do on the shelf. Extra support, my husband will be happy about that. <laughs> He's a little worried about things falling on us when we're sleeping, so legit, I get that. So anyways, I'm gonna have to put, uh, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. This is gonna be interesting. Stay tuned. You may ask, how do you know that you're in a stud? Well, it'll be difficult to drill in, much more difficult than drilling into just the drywall. Okay, so since my studs are spaced at 16 inches apart, I'm going to have to put two other brackets right on the end. Now, I had actually ordered two different types of brackets to see how they would look and how they would fit the board. So I'm actually gonna be using one of the brackets that I ordered, uh, unsure of how it would fit. And it's a little short on the board, but this will work just fine. These are gonna go on the corners right here. So that's what we're gonna do. That'll work. Now comes the fun part. I get to style my shelf. Now, since I put most of my houseplants outside for summer, they all look fabulous. They all have great growth and color and they look excellent on my shelf. When you're styling your plants, especially on a shelf, don't be afraid to try things. I moved so many things around during this process and that is okay. I really wanted to have my pictures up on the shelf, but you can see that I moved them around quite a bit. And that is okay guys, you just have to try different things. When styling shelves, you do want to have some height on the items. If you noticed, I used a couple books to elevate that picture and also to elevate these plants so they would stick out a little bit since they were a little bit small. So make sure you do have height, alternating heights, of course, on your shelves.
All right, guys, that is it for my DIY plant shelf. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a great day.